surfing in the 60s, it was, um, the surfers had that stigma of, you know, they don't want to work, they don't want to have jobs, they just want to surf, they just want to be free. Thinking that you're going to get drafted and pulled away for two years, it's like, oh, you know, I'm going to be inland, I'm not going to surf, I'm not going to see the ocean. It, uh, it played havoc with a lot of people's lives. I had no time for wars. It, it just was something that wasn't even in my uh, agenda. I see the fire through the trees, hear the horrors through the breeze, drowning out the seasons like there's none. Hold the blue still in my hands, moving my feet over land while I'm thinking, God, I've got a gun. I wasn't into going over there, I'm gonna go over there and just kill everybody. It's like, that wasn't the issue. It's like, okay, just get into it and see where it takes me. The morning of my third day, you know, I was supposed to be walking point, and I watched the guys next to me take all the bullets when it should have been me. And then knowing that I was gonna have to be there for a year, and it just, my brain just went, it just shut down. The only thing I wanted to do was come home and surf, and I figured if I didn't have my arms and legs, then I can't surf, so there's no reason for me to come back. There was something really basically wrong with this war, and I said, no, I'm not going. And even though I got out of the draft and everything else, I felt like the Vietnam War had dumped this huge load on top of me, and I was just stuck there, and I was trying to get all this stuff off. Surfers will always find a way to play no matter where they are. You know, they want that experience. Didn't think, oh gee, where am I? And I'm in Vietnam and it is none of that, it's just just natural. All, all that mattered was dropping in, catching a wave and, and making the bottom turn and and it was just exhilarating. Stuck in mud and no man's land, resting easy in the sand, smelling that great ocean and the wind. Spiritually, I was stronger, and that's why I didn't go. When I was in Vietnam, I said, when I go home, I'm going to grow my hair long, and I'm not going to cut it, and I want to surf until I die. 